And a very tangible example of what we're doing to pull this through from a cultural perspective is in the way that we measure and monitor progress. When ZS was up here earlier, they talked about just the availability of RX data makes it so easy, so simple to crave the next day or the next week's RX performance for our medicines. If you take it up uh, a step higher, it's all about dollar performance. For those of us that, that work in the, in the, um, in, in the, in the in, in companies, we know that there's quarterly earnings reports. We're talking about dollars. We track sales within our companies, whether it's annually and setting the targets, or, or quarterly, or monthly, or I know some companies look daily at sales. But that's not the most important metric, and we're trying to supplement those metrics, which we recognize are not going to go away, with something that's more important and resonates with colleagues, and that's patient figures and the patients that benefit from our medicines. And so when we are making investment decisions at Pfizer now, whether it's um, how we allocate our resources or investing in pipeline medicines, it's always placed right up there, how many patients are, do we think are going to benefit from this medicine? And when in every public forum, not only do we talk about the dollars internally when we're speaking to people, we talk about the number of patients that we're protecting with Pfizer vaccines. We talk about the number of patients treated, the number of cancer patients treated with Pfizer oncology medicines, the number of patients treated with Lyrica, with Eliquis, with Vindiquil, or even on our consumer healthcare business, the number of households that are alleviating pain with Advil. We're embedding this. In, uh, in, in the way that we operate and the consistent reinforcement that it's about the good that we're doing for patients or, 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 or the, the enablement that we're providing for patients through our medicines is really a big cultural change within Pfizer and is very, very exciting. With each of our patient-focused units, it's a different approach to measurement because the data sources uh, for capturing the number of oncology patients or even our rare disease unit, uh, you can't go to IMS data to capture the number of patients for rare diseases because it just doesn't capture it. So we use different data sources and, um, and we're working on the right me metrics. We have um, great decision analysis group uh, within Pfizer and, um, you know, Obviously, every company has their own secret sauce to how they create their internal, um, you know, kind of algorithm to make decisions. But I think what's most important is we're being very purposeful, very explicit, and we're bringing it into every leadership forum or governance forum to make decisions is, does this meet this criteria? Does it bring value to patients? Can we say that with confidence that it's delivered, creating value for patients? Is it creating value for the healthcare system? And I think this concept of value-based healthcare is here to stay. A lot of work ahead to figure out how you measure it, but it's here to stay. And then I think what everybody knows how to do is to determine does it create value for your company. So.